Let's go to space. A black hole is a weird hole with a nut load of gravity. So much gravity it rips space itself. What's gravity? Well, I don't know, but it can do stuff like this and this. Space time. That's right, space and time are kind of mingled with each other. This guy with crazy hair developed the idea in his new book, which combines space and time to make infinity. Anything can bend it, but black holes will break it. Check out the sun. It's a plasma ball that burns hydrogen into helium for energy. Pretty solid stuff. When it's older, it will run out of fuel, grow, destroy Venus, and then burn out and die. But we got a bigger orb to manipulate, like a red supergiant, the sun's humongous uncle, except more concerning. And yeah, it still turns hydrogen into helium, and now it's gone. Crank up the stove, it's pressure and heat, which allows helium to turn into carbon, then it turns to neon, oxygen, magnesium, silicon, Iron is a double-edged stick. The elements keep turning into iron, which doesn't emit anything, which makes iron stuck with more iron, unbalanced, which makes the star unstable. Now look guys, I don't know about you, but we about to hit the climax. The core collapses, creating everything in the universe with hot psychedelic hippie dust. Two scenarios, a ton of matter gets crammed into itself so badly that it creates a neutron star, which digs its way in there in cray cray mode. Or if the star was humongous, it's a black hole. The densities in these things get insane with a black hole sperm cell weighing more than Africa. Some guy told me that anything could turn into a black hole, like this bottle of hand sanitizer, Mount Everest, or my taxes, if it's crammed tiny enough. I don't know, something was up with that guy. Anyway, slap that on a trip, hop aboard the rocket ship, and let's take a picture of that chip. By that, I mean the black hole. Light gets bent, warped, and pulled into it, creating this, and also trapping it, so you can't but they can. That's the accretion disk if you are interested. Black holes can come in different sizes. They're small, medium, and super duper massive pentagon one in billion mode. Falling into a small one will make you die. Large ones, however, give you that grace period to chill out inside. Maybe some DND while you wait, but you'll still die. Wanna screw up time? Now look, as soon as we step into it, things get complicated. Time slows down, but to you, it's like fast forward on the universe. But you're actually going really slow, like damn, you're like H&M. Physics wants to make the speed of light stay the speed of light. In fact, it's so desperate that it will break time to keep it that way. Now bro, you gotta understand that galaxies have a conservative tradition of having a humongous black hole in the center of them. Like the Milky Way, or Andromeda, or IC1101, which has one of those exquisitely super duper massive pentagon- Back to accretion disks, some black holes have a collection of hot matter orbiting it. They call it a royalty in the black hole family. And it's so hot, it's super bright. <laughs> The black hole isn't black after all. It releases x-rays, and we can ding ding detect that. The photon sphere is pretty cool. Light orbits all around the void. You can see yourself, maybe if you're lucky, your own ear. Now that the death warrant checks out, we can go past the event horizon, the trapdoor of no return, and watch the universe fade from existence just like yourself. And now, I don't know what happens at this part, but you're probably gonna die as you get spaghettified into the center of the black hole. The singularity. It might not even exist. And that's if the black hole doesn't spin. The black Black holes do that, so it's a ring now. Some black holes eat stars, some black holes eat each other. Crikey, he's a rough one! It shows off a little bit by shooting a jet of sparkles, sometimes getting brighter than its own galaxy, as the noodle elongates to galactic levels. I mean, black holes suck, right? Let's go to the end of the universe. Everything's gone. Except the black hole. Taking it easy with the black sphere, which doesn't exist right now. I guess it doesn't die, but maybe it can. Do you check on your BAC? Do you know that you're a black hole socially? Quantum fluctuations are funky. They're weird energy bubbles that pop up for no reason. But we got virtual particles, and it's got diversity. We got the plus particle and the minus particle in a vacuum. Their main purpose in life is to touch each other. When that happens, they die, releasing energy. Yeah, that's pretty virtual. This happens everywhere, which means the black hole at the edge. Now Hawking was thinking intellectual with this, all right chap? Now one of the particles kind of cheats on the other with the black hole, which makes the other particle angry causing them to shoot out from the black hole in the form of radiation. Mmm, yummy. It's like a fight or flight response because all the other particles gets cheated on. You absolute beast. This phenomena makes the black hole evaporate. One problem, this thing takes forever and I'm not patient. Years, centuries, and millennia pass like it's nothing. Trillions and trillions of quadrillions of gazillions of years goes by and the black hole shrinks like what, one millimeter? We keep going though and it gets smaller and hotter and smaller and hotter and smaller and hotter and then eventually,
it explodes. Wait, there's no sound in space. It'd be like the only cool thing left in the universe. After all of them do that, that's it. The universe is boring now. Let's go back. Maybe the universe has primordial black holes. The OGs of matter that form right after that Big Bang thing. Dark matter, maybe? I don't know, human beings are too dumb to understand it. Maybe the universe itself is a black hole. Or finding black holes in Australia. Nope, those are white holes.